Just trying to be real authentic. I like to rock a watch, but the hands don't take keep us. Um, guys, welcome to another episode of my show. It's called the Dave Graves Show, and it's my show because I'm Dave. What's up? Uh, I'm starting my day off with a fresh pressed juice that I freshly pressed myself. It has beets in it hence the beet color. It has carrots in it, hence the carrot, carrot in it. And it has apple in it, it has lemon in it, it has ginger in it, and it has celery and cucumber for hydration. I wanna recommend you guys drinking <coughs> fresh juices every day because they are the best and they're going to hydrate your body better than water can hydrate your body. Way better than water. This is structured water in here. And there's minerals and there's vitamins and your body just goes like, give me that stuff. So it gives it to it and then it takes it and it makes it into hair, skin, bones, teeth, enamel, toenails. It takes this and it makes all that. So yeah, this is gonna be a video where I show you guys what I'm eating. So this is the first thing I'm eating. I'm kind of uh, foggy headed today, so I gotta get out there. I'm gonna go to the gym, knock some of these cobwebs out of my system. So yeah, I feel kind of weird this morning, as you couldn't tell. I'm just kind of daisy, lazy, but it's not gonna be that way, you see? In the next clip. Wow, that was a good, Good workout. I feel like Endorphin City. If that was a city, I would live there every day. I mean, <laughs> obviously if I lived there, I'd be there every day. But uh, yeah, I would, uh, I would be there every day if there was an Endorphin City because that's where I want to live. This feeling right now, this moment. And you know, it can be hard to decide to work out. And honestly, I went from the past two weeks, I, I only worked out twice a week. Um, and I usually go for three because I do full body workouts, but you know what? I just, that makes me feel bad. I don't like to, uh, to not feel this feeling, you know what I mean? So I'm actually looking at um, changing up my workout routine to like a push pull legs where I'm working six days a week and that'll keep me motivated. I'll be able to go to the gym more um, because my other body parts will be recovering while I'm working my separate ones and then uh, yeah I'll just be able to get in the gym more because I'm really like yeah I do want a good body like that is something that um, I kind of care about I, I'm I am into my looks into aesthetics I mean deep down in my soul I don't want to be but where I'm at right now I want to try to promote this lifestyle and the healthier I look usually people um, see someone with some muscle on them especially a guy and you know they they think that they 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 want to look more like that so if i can do anything to inspire people to eat more fruits and vegetables if i have to go to the gym and work out and get my physique to be a point where people will believe me when i tell them they can do whatever they want when they when they eat this way then uh then i'm gonna do it and that's what i'm trying to do right now so yeah and sorry i haven't been posting videos but yeah the past two weeks i've been kind of uh in a funk which happens to me i have everyone has stuff they deal with you know everyone has things that they can work on and i'm really working on not being so hard on myself because then i get down and then i don't go to the gym or i don't um eat as good as i could and it's just like comes from a lack of self-love and then sometimes what what happens to me is i have a lack of self-love and then it almost makes me want to like love myself less because then I'm judging myself for not loving myself and it's just like a cycle and I'm sick of it man you know it's got to be love is the only answer and true love and that's really it so yeah so I'm going to go make my smoothie I'll show you what I make after I make it but I just wanted to tell you guys how important it is to move your body exercise 
And once you do that, you're gonna wanna refuel your body with the best food. Like right now, I couldn't think of eating anything besides like a amazing smoothie. I just, there's nothing that sounds anywhere as appealing except for maybe a juice, but I already had one today. Um, yeah, there's nothing that feels, or <laughs> feels, sounds as good as I know it's gonna make me feel. So yeah, I'll get back at you guys in a second. Uh, see you soon. All right, this is smoothie post-workout. So I got my pea protein. It's chocolate flavored. I still, lo I love it. I really, I really love it. But I still wish I would've gotten vanilla because I don't take this every day. Um, I just take it when I work out just to make sure, you know, that I get everything I need because I am trying to gain a little size and um, it's just easier to get protein, extra protein this way than to try to eat more food because sometimes uh, you don't have enough time or whatever. That's an excuse, but hey, protein is for the modern day society and as long as it is vegan, then you're good to go. I'm gonna add some chia seeds. I'm probably gonna add a tablespoon and a tablespoon of hemp seeds. And then I got this coconut yogurt here that I made yesterday. And there is probably about a half cup to three quarters cup in there maybe. And then six bananas. So this is gonna be the post-workout smoothie. And then I'm just gonna use water to um, get it to blend up. You can use almond milk, any kind of milk. But what I'm going to do in the future is I bought these raw nuts um, it's a mixture of uh, hazelnuts, cashews, Brazil nuts, uh, pecans, and walnuts, and almonds. So it's like pretty much every nut. They were on sale. So I'm going to soak these for like 12 to 24 hours, and then I'm going to make nut milk out of them, and then I'm going to use that for smoothies. So if you wanted something a little creamier, you can always use milks um, that you make yourself. And I do recommend you make them yourself because there's a lot of fillers in the ones that you buy at the store and you're not getting as much actual almonds or hemp seeds or like whatever kind of milk you're buying as you are like water and fillers. So when you make it yourself, I'm, you can even like add vanilla, sweeten it up with some maple syrup, agave, some dates, um, anything you want to really make it taste the way that you like it. So yeah, I'm gonna blend this up and I'm gonna go outside into the sunshine. It's like two o'clock right now, and I wanna get at least like an hour of sun on my white body. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Um, if I do anything else cool today, I'll show you. Otherwise, we'll probably just reconnect, reconnect at uh, dinner time or that time of the night. Okay, peace. Yo. So this is what I ate last night. It's just a little leftover, I couldn't quite finish it. It's broccoli, some sweet potato, there's not much sweet potato left, some asparagus, some zucchini, and a little bit of kale. And that's all steamed up. And that's what I ate for dinner last night with some of the uh, pumpkin seed yogurt. Uh, well, pumpkin seed coconut yogurt. So yeah, so I'm eating some of that and then I'm gonna prepare dinner in a little bit. And I'm gonna have like a Mexican salad and I'll show you like what that is. It's gonna probably end up looking a lot like this, but it's gonna be uh, more lettuce than the steamed veggies, but I might add some steamed stuff in there also. So I'll show you guys. All right, here we go. So this is going to be what makes up the dressing, but I'm going to add this um, Yogurt, so the pumpkin seed coconut yogurt is gonna be the base. Two tomatoes, three peppers, juice of this one lime, uh, like two to three garlic cloves. This one was kind of small, so I wanted to make sure it was nice and garlicky. This much cilantro. It's like a half of a head. Um, yeah, and then I'm gonna add cumin, and I don't have any paprika, but I would definitely add paprika. I think that's a great thing to add to any kind of Mexican dish. I do have chili powder, so I'm gonna add some chili powder and some salt. And then this is a salad I'm gonna pour it on. So these are some, actually one zucchini uh, spiralized into noodles. 
a couple tomatoes, um, some of those peppers cut up. I threw some carrots in there and under this uh, is going to be some red leaf lettuce. And so that's the salad part. So this is like the raw, raw part. And then over here I have some steamed up kale and mushrooms with some olive oil and nutritional yeast and salt. So I'm going to have this um, on the side as well for some steamed veggies. But as you can see, it is a lot of green stuff and a lot of vegetables because those are good for you. So you should eat more. I'm going to blend it up, mix it all together, and I will tell you how it is when it's finished. All right guys, so it's ready, as I showed you. It, I already took my first bite and it is like perfect. It's exactly what I, what I wanted. It is like not too much cilantro and it's not too much garlic. It's really just uh, perfect. Mmm. Mmm. Um, paprika, like I said, would be nice. Um, I did add a little cayenne pepper that I had like a shaker, a little bit of oregano. And just intuitively, like I just felt like I wanted to add that. And then I added um, a little tiny bit of tamari to just give it a little bit different dynamic than just the salt. So it definitely added some flavor in there. And this is a massive salad, like it's pretty big. This is what I eat. And then I still have this on the side. And then I left, um, a little bit of the dressing, I, this is like barely any, but I left a little bit of it because I have some black beans and I'm feeling like I'm going to eat this. It's like, what time is it? Six o'clock right now. So I'm going to eat this. Then I feel like at eight o'clock, eight thirty, if I'm not still too stuffed from this, I'm going to want something else. So I wanted something to season my uh, black beans up with. So I'm going to put that back in the fridge and I'm going to have that for that. And yeah, so this is pretty much what I ate today. I, yeah, and I still think I would have eaten more fruit, um, but there's a good amount of calories in this nut yogurt. So um, I'm still gonna reach like my 2400 mark. I'm pretty sure, especially if I get the black beans in, but yeah. Um, I'm kind of trying, still trying to get used to eating enough. i am kind of been on like a detox path instead of like a building path. So I never really worry about eating enough. I just eat if I'm hungry. But lately, because I've been working out, it's been a little different. I've been having to make sure I eat um, no matter what. So I'm getting in the enough calories to like rebuild. But yeah, if I don't show you anything else that I ate today, I hope you have a good day, night, week, month, year. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you liked it and like button if that's what you did. Peace.